Yeah, people, yeah, people. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, good evening. Welcome to another show. Coach's desk. Yeah, as you can see in the title. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Big up to the early birds. Big up Jordan, Dames, Lavish. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, man. So, yeah, people. How is everybody doing? Yeah, man. Just share up the life. Share up the life. Yeah, man. See some numbers coming on. Doing all right. Big up yourself, brother. <laughs> yeah. Big up yourself. Still have a beating for you, you know. Yeah, man. But yeah, I hide. <laughs> Still have a beating for you, but yeah, I hide. But you yeah, know, so you go. You know, so you go. Yeah, man. So, people, the big news. Yeah, man. You know, now wait. But give some, give some more folks some time to get on. My service all right. That will never happen. Remember, yeah, I did that's why it now go happen. Once you show up, once you turn up, trust me, it will happen. Yeah, man, yeah, man, we are getting into what's new. Yeah, so, well, as you can see in the title, um, reggae boy Kevin Isaac, sorry, Kevin Freighter. <laughs> Oh, the name the Isaac does come in. Probably Isaac aid me a think about. But yeah, man. Now, from what we understand is that he would have been um injected. Yeah. Um Kevin Freighter, you would have been the first um Jamaican footballer to take the COVID-19 vaccine. Yeah. So um, he plays football in, in, in Israel, yeah, and um, from my understanding, he said that he's feeling good, he's feeling well, and he's recommending that you take it, you and you and you and you, everybody view it, yeah, man. So once it's available, people, of course, get yourself um, vaccinated is important yeah because um a whole lot of persons have passed on from this virus a lot of persons would have caught the virus so yeah man vaccine them say is important so um that is that also yeah man another reggae boy people Kemal Malcolm we have been hearing talks that he would be um going overseas and yes he would have joined um Chevron Marsh and uh, the striker there over there in El Salvador League so big up again to super agent Kevin Cohen two in a few days so we have a big up um kevin cohen on that yeah man big up yourself travis so kevin cohen strike again kemal malcolm is out of the country and he'll be playing football in el salvador yeah man with that same team that uh craig foster is and Chevron Marsh, A.D. Talatengnago, however they pronounce it. <laughs> yes, it would be a Spanish name. You know, so keen for the Spanish. Just a few 
words I might know. So, yeah, man, it's a good look. Ball of them not playing any ball in the country. Things are freed up right now. From our understanding, the Sigma run would have allowed things to free up. So they say, but it's a good look, you know. Yeah, man, we got, we got, we got much, man. I stay them, of course. Up to the minute, what do you mean? Yeah, we got much more than one time. Mm -hmm. So, the baller, we're going to play some ball in El Salvador League. Yeah. And again, the super agent is doing a good work. So, Peter McGregor, people. Yeah, man, I know that you don't want to hear about. Peter McGregor. Um, the standout player for McGregor at high school in the 2019 Dakosta Cup Championship, our football league. He has signed for a club over there in Sweden. Yeah. Yeah, man, and it's a good look for the youth because not many, if any, schoolboy has ever done it before. If you know one, tell me, Magra High School would have been the first school. Remember, you know, Peter Magra did not play. With any national team, he did not play any club football, whether Premier League. Um, he, he went with the All Manning and All the Costa, score a bag of goals again. So that's the closest thing he he, he would have gone to representing the country, quote unquote. Yeah, so. For this to happen, it's a big move. It's a massive move. And again, it's super agent Kevin Cohen. Yes, people. CM agent Vishamar Nicholson and others. You understand? So, a big deal, a big deal, a big deal. A big deal for Margaret High School right now. Yeah, a youth from Spanish Town, people. Straight from high school, straight in a Europe. Yeah. And kudos to his coach. Yeah, man. And his coach is supposed to be joining us tonight. Yeah, just to have a little talk on the big move by Peter McGregor. This youth worked very hard. And not every hard worker sometimes get what they want or get their heart's desire but trust me this is a big 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 move we can't overemphasize it anymore it's just a massive move and um all the persons who would have um played their part in his development um this coach would have had him from like about 12 years old you know so it's a long time coming and the, the 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 plan was always to make a big move you understand so it's 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 a it's a big deal people a lot of excitement a lot of talks even around um important persons around the team so massive 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 yeah 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 give ones me know so it name man i don't see pronunciation me me, me can't bother with it you know because them them that's some swedish thing me know me know everything will go on man yeah man <laughs> coaches desks know what go on people don't get it twisted yeah man so yeah just waiting on the coach. I mean, I really want to talk a lot about it. Just waiting on the coach. Let me run through some of the comments. 
All right, from top. Let me start from top. Um, Siobhan Gibbon say, good vibes. Yeah, man, a big up doing right already. I'm a party. Daji Lavish, big up yourself. Elon's a Roden. What's new? Well, let me just tell you. Peter Magrega from Magrad High School. Ghana, Sweden. Yeah. Kevin Freta, first Jamaican footballer to be vaccinated. And Kemal Malcolm, also gone to AD, that's that side over there in El Salvador. Yeah. Andrew Allen, big up yourself. Travis, yeah, we did big up Travis already. Red Bull. Kemar. What update on Kemar? There's no news surfacing on Kemar. You want to give us an update on Kemar, Red Bull? The Daje Lavish, what's your reggae boy lineup if you were the coach? <laughs> yeah, put me on the spot now, Lavish. Yeah, put me on the spot. Because you know, um, we always complain that the coach probably changed up the team. But you have a select a team based on the opponent sometime that you're going to play. And um, that's why some players should have um, should have been given uh, an opportunity from, from a longer time. Whitmore got this team or took over the reins when um, Schaefer would have failed to qualify. Yeah, I understand? So you would have known that no qualification. And um, I mean, he should have put things in place. So there are some key pieces that are missing. But often, you have to tell me a team where you think they would have lined up against. Let me tell you which, 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 which players would I use. Bravo. Big up yourself. I think I came out of Taxi Lawrence in my top, man. Come yeah, on, I'm Red Bull at that. Yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Up to the minute, weather. Um, I think they won the league, their league in 2019, you know. And and if I'm not mistaken, they came about fourth the last time they're out. So, but COVID came and all certain things. Yeah, man. Uh, it's a good little side, man. Very good side. And uh, we wish the youngster all the best. He's eager to get um, into training. Yeah? He, he wants. But of course, you know that you'd have to get acclimatized to over there. Place is really cold. So, yeah, man. Let me give him a few days to, 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 you know. But, man, eager to go kick some ball. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Um, lavish asks on the side name, okay. Um, and Jiva, um, Givans tell him already, big up yourself, Givans. Um, bravo, Giovanni da Silva. His full name is Kemar Lawrence, <laughs> also <laughs> called Taxi. He plays his trade in Belgium with Anderlech. Yeah, man, Anderlech a big side too. Um, such and such, JFF need to get some friendlies lineup. Um, you know that two friendlies were lined up, Bermuda and um Catalonia, they were lined up in, in 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 March. But from my understanding, we understand that th those games are off, but they are still trying to get um games for the boys. Yeah man. Yeah man, two games were lined up, Bermuda and, and Catalonia, but it now gonna happen. You understand? Um, Given said the league is really good, good league with club like Malmo that put up a decent fight against Chelsea. All right, bravo! Blair Taggart has received his Jamaican passport and would have played against. Yeah, that you there out of nowhere, Blair Taggart. Taggart, 
Yeah, man. Um, he's a British um, born Jamaican. But he plays, I believe it's in Sweden. Yeah, man. He, he plays football in Sweden. I actually saw that the passport that he put up on his on his on his IG status or status, whichever way you pronounce it. Yeah, man. I see that to Bravo. And it was kind of shocking when I said, Oh, that player. So I'm gonna do a little research on him and pretty decent ball about. That one was it I call it now. You 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 probably weren't thinking about a baller like that, Blair um Turgot. But hey man, get him passport and him up and running. So coach Jeremy and Thomas, welcome to the show, man. Big up yourself. How are you doing? Yeah, man, we're good man. The people I'm there to in the house. We have 43 yeah. people on. Yeah, 43 people on. Wow. That's a lot. Yeah, man. All um, right. Yeah, so, 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 people, this is the man. <laughs> Jeremy and Thomas. Coach Thomas. <laughs> yeah, man. He is the man that is responsible for, for, for the, the commotion today in Jamaica. We, we had a commotion. Huh? We had a commotion today in Jamaica. Yeah, man, a commotion, man. Yeah. <laughs> you, you never hear it. No. No. <laughs> yeah, man. So this is Coach Thomas, people. Coach German Thomas, coach of Magara High School. And um, he's the, 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 one of the key players who would have um worked with peter from about 10 years old 12 years old sorry and uh, the big move came about over the weekend and um everybody is happy coach is elated coach talk to us <laughs> well <laughs> today today uh I was just one of the big days one of the days that you, you wish you would have had every quarter, every two weeks, you know. But 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 it, it, it's a lot of joy, though. I'm, I'm really elated and really happy for him. Um, this this would have been something that we would have been working on from like the very first time I saw him playing. Uh, I knew that he was special, mm -hmm. you know, and, and to see this coming to some kind of maturity, you know. It brings a lot of joy. Eh? Yeah, man, of course. Um, I told the people that you have been um, working with this youngster from about 12 years old. Give us a little um, background of, of how, 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 how that connection came about. Well, I was coaching at Waterford High School. So I was basically in charge of the football program there. Um, Peter at the time was in first form, uh, and uh, so so he made the under 14 team. And you know, when I saw him, I remember we were having a game one evening, a, a squad game mm -hmm. to probably kind of select a squad to start training for under 14. And it was getting dark. He reminded me of this because up until today, day, I can't remember the conversation. <laughs> but, but he said to me that, Coach, I, um, they were like gathering around me because it was getting late and they wanted to play. So there's more than one of them. But he was brave enough to, 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 to say to me, I need, Coach, put me on. So I said, what position they play? And he said, boy, right back. So I said, right back, all right. Go and play right link for me. So I pulled the right link and put him at right link. And he scored what? He scored, I think, one or two goals the evening, based on what he's saying. And assisted probably one more. And then he came. He said, I I, I, I went looking for him and said to him that, you know, you're not a defender. You are a striker. Mm-hmm. And he said that the next, the, the, when he came to training the following day, you know, he, he, I put him at forward, and from from that, he has always been playing forward. 
Yeah, so that, that is kind of in a nutshell, you know, my first interaction with him. Uh -huh. you know, but but he, he's just different. He, I think he is, he's special and I think his ceiling is very, very high. And I'm just waiting patiently until he's fully settled and acclimatized and all of that. And I'm thinking that the rest is going to be history. Yeah, man. Uh, so jump jump over all of the age barriers, the 13, the 14, the 15. Talk about um, his time at Magra High School. Um, McGregor, he came to Magra 2017. So I told the first year, played the second year, which was 2018. Um, did really, really well, I think. Scored a couple of goals. Stood out, he, he was the talk of the town. Everybody was talking about this number 10 mm -hmm. goes to Margaret and, and, and whatever. You know, we we started preparation 29. Well, 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 all on the court, stick up in mm -hmm. since he was a talk of the town. Then, yeah, you know, the, the 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 news um go quick, you know, when it comes on to sport athletes, sporting right. athletes that, do, that does well. Mm -hmm. So was there a lot of persons who were on his case in terms of trying to recruit him? Yeah, I think so. But but the beauty about it is is when you when you when you are connected with your athletes or athlete, then it, it makes a whole lot of difference. You know, when 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 you are operating beyond just being a coach and you're taking mentorship to another level, I mean, irrespective of the limited amount of resource or resources that we might have at Magra. He, he, he remained loyal even though he was owned and um, he was he was, he was chased right through after mm -hmm. 2018. He was receiving loads of phone calls to come and join other institutions and stuff. Mm -hmm. but, but 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 I must commend him. He, he remained humbled and he said to me that I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to stay and um, and play with you. you know, so, so as a result of that, I, I honestly want to to um, comment him again and big him up because he showed his loyalty. He showed loyalty. Yeah, man. And and before you move any further, um. Mm -hmm. Devon Porter said, congratulations to, to oh. Peter. Yeah, man, and, and yourself. And yeah, man. He, he, he's saying that you'd have done a wonderful job in developing this young man into his uh, professional contract. Again, right. well done. So, right. yeah, man, you were saying about um, him coming to Magra in, in 2017, sat out a year, did well mm -hmm. in 2018. Yeah, right. man, continue. Right, and um, so... He developed, he was developing well, and um, then his, his athletic abilities continued to improve. Mm -hmm. So he, he was getting bigger, he was getting stronger, and he was getting far more explosive. And, and I knew once we, 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 we really keep the team together and um, come in training a little bit earlier, and uh, we kind of structured that, and then we got support from, from some wonderful past students who came on board and um, tried their best to, to really rally some support around the team and, and additional mentorship as well from the past students. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and that was good and I must commend them because, you know, the few that we have, you know, that really believed and, and um, wanted the program to move, the, 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 the little resources that they, they have and could have managed to, to get together, you know, it was done and done well. So, thumbs up to them. So, so yeah, we started and um, we had a wonderful preseason, wonderful preseason. I remember saying to, to my principal that based on what I'm seeing from, from the team and, and from Magrega himself, I'm thinking that we are going to have a wonderful season, and we did. Mark mm. Gregor, on the other hand, he is he's something else. He, what, what amazes me about Mark Gregor is 
his mental strength. You know, he, he's he's a very tough lad. When he comes on to football and comes on to the pitch, he, he fights without holding back. He, he leaves every single thing on the pitch. Every single time he touches a football field, he leaves every single thing on the pitch. We lose our job. And that is what I love about him most of all. Yeah, man. And 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 one comment um just surfaced in the comment section by Serge. Uh, more players should take a page from this youngster's book, I guess. Um, it's not just all about the cups and trophies, it's also about development of oneself. And 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 kudos to your coach, even though we know the the, the, the goal was to win the Hasta Cup or to, 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 to go to the final, it didn't happen. But um you are hailed as the, 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 the genius over there in Magrat because you are the only coach well you are the coach who actually took this Magrat team to the second round for years many have tried and failed but somehow you would have done it tell us about that all right before I even even even, even go down that road Based on the comment you read just now, um, I think one of the biggest mistakes, you know, some of us, some of our young players make is leaving their school and joining. And personally, I say, why, why is he saying that Peter came from Waterford? Mm -hmm. But, but I, I think sometimes we, we over recruit, and yeah. when you have. When you have 30 or 25 boys over a two-year period in one institution, like seriously, how much of them can really play? Sure. And will, will they get enough game time to, to develop their footballing talent? Is it that, that playing three or four games in the first round is enough to give them the practice they need to, to, to be able to transition? So, so I guess we need to, and I, I must support and, and say I support what Issa has done in terms of looking at revisiting the recruiting rules and mm -hmm. the amount, because I was thinking about over recruit sometimes. And sometimes you might find talented youngsters in schools not playing, cannot make the team, and they could probably start in other teams. Mm-hmm. True. And, 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 and there are pros and cons to recruiting and, and the, the, the positives are recruiting. People say to you that some schools don't have a good program, some right, schools right. Don't it, and they are giving the athletes a chance and they are saving them from because the program bad and all that. But I think there are negatives to it. And and I think if we want football to be developed on a national level, then we need to to, 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 to get schools in and around from every nook and cranny, every single part in Jamaica playing the Costa Cup are playing are playing Manning Cup, even though most corporate schools do play. But the Costa Cup competition is a little bit different. So, so if we can get those talented boys staying and repping for their communities, you may never know, probably the next Sharty Malcolm or yeah, where it can be from a school somewhere in deep rural, rural Jamaica or the next world, Walter Boyd, you may never know. But but it's no coincidence, people, and Kevin, when you look over the last probably 13 years, three schools would have won Manning Cup. Mm -hmm. I don't think that that argues well for our football nationally. I don't, and probably if you, you should go and check the Costa Cup and look at the, probably the last 15 years, how many schools would have won the Costa Cup as well. Mm -hmm. you know, so, so nationally, probably we need to ask ourselves if, if how we getting results nationally, is it that our programs are, 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 are well run, are well developed in our schools? I don't think so, because if I have two boys rooming from under 14, under 16, etc., or three or four boys, and then when those boys reach 15 plus, you come and take them, all of them at once. I mean, 
Yeah. How will I improve as a coach in that school? Mm-hmm. That community, how, how will they um, support football? Who will they support? So you may find some raw emerging talent there. Somebody who, who would be quick, explosive, whose coordination will be well developed and so not getting a chance to play because the kids here might not be motivated to go and trade because their schools are always getting six and eight and nine and ten low. Yeah, yeah. Because their talent would have been scouted. You know? So yeah, tough luck sometimes, you know. Yeah man. Yes. So back to the second round. Right. Yeah, the next part of the question. Oh. Yeah, man, I was saying that you, you are the only coach who would have taken this um, team to the second round of the Doncaster Cup after mm-hmm. many tries from different coaches. Well, um, I've been very, very fortunate from, from day one, um, from attending Magra. I, I, I would always watch football matches. I can't remember that vividly. And, and it brings a, a, a certain level of, of joy just, just from me watching as a student back then. Um, the support we got this year, and I don't want this to go on. 2019, 2019. Right, 2019, whoa, 2021. The support <laughs> we got 2019, you know, was second to none. I mean, yeah, well, the principal, the, the entire school community, and um, the past students, I think, they really, really rallied around us and gave us good support. But, um, I said before, I've been passionate from day one. I always, you know, I'm always wondering from our student, why can't we go to the second round? I, I would have seen good, good teams year in year out, and um, we have had players in the past who would, have, who would have gone on to play the National Premier League. And, Kevin and, uh, Mighty, Kevin Mighty, Greg Taylor, Greg Taylor, and, um, Conor Conor Hall. Hall. yeah, right, just to name a few, and um. You know, I, I've always, always like, like in limbo as to what what we could do or what we can do to change things. But what I think what worked for me is that um, having gone to to GC Foster College and then I majored in football uh, in uh, in college, um, and then I was heavily involved with the collegiate team. So I started my early groundwork with the collegiate team. Uh-huh. You know, got, 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 um, may Mr. Hutchinson sold rest in peace, but he would have would have really paved the way for me as it relates to coaching. I remember, I remember in our football major class, I think we would have covered so many things as it relates to coaching. You know, so I must say thanks to to GC Factor because they would have created a solid platform for me, and then. While I was there, I was a part of the whole Rivoli setup. I remember the last stint Patrick Beach had at Rivoli. I mean, I was there. The Planter brothers, Devon Ajit, as a youngster, uh-huh. Marvin, Gada Henry, he went to Olmas, did well as a forward, and, and Gregory Tape from States, and several other uh, um, other players in and around the Spanish one era, and even players from Mapen. So, I mean, being in that setup, being around people like Harold Thomas. I was there with, 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 with um, Fish Girl at one point, Anthony Stolich Thompson at one point, and I would have learned so much, you know, so much. So, as a result of that, bringing back all that experience, I, I, before I even go there, I was I spent about what five years or four years coaching at St. Diego. I would have taught at St. Diego for the last, not for the last, but for twelve years. Um, and then so I spent five years here coaching and then coaching at Waterford as well. Some two Manning Cup experience. So between St. Jago and the Waterford would run me like nine or ten years of coaching experience. Um, I've, I've done work, coaching work um, with Federal Major League. I won Division I won with them in Spanish Town, in St. Catherine. And... and um, uh, I've been to like major league finals, uh-huh. major league semifinals. I've coached at the Super League level with with um Olava, Bay United, um the Sportsmax Elite League 
that they had running. I was a coach after in Catherine, went to semi finals two years in a row, was beaten by the eventual champions, Kasafa. So, I mean, then I, I also did business also with Sajikor, went to bank finals with them and um, stuff like that. So, my coaching experience outside and then being a physical education teacher again. I mean that would that would have that would have further cemented the mm -hmm. platform or the foundation for me. So taking all this experience back to my girl now, you know, or, or in 2019 or from 2017, you know, that made I think the difference. The difference because when when you're operating at at the Premier League level, I mean, in two to from 2000. Four to about 2008, nine, thereabouts. I was at Rivoli, and that, that experience is like those you can't really pay for them, you can't, yeah, pay for yeah. them. you know. So, so I think merging all of those experiences and then taking them back. So, from St. Diego to Waterford High School to um, to, to, to like Major League Super League, I would have gone up against. Like, I remember 2010, St. Diego and St. George's opened Manning Cup at Yard Park. And that was Neville Bell. So, so you're coaching in against at St. George's. I remember um, playing against Ludlow at KC, Lenny at KC, Aliman um, at, at Excelsior. You know, so but when you really, Miguel Coley, while he was at Norman Manley in 2009, when I was at St. Diego, so when we look at all of those experiences playing playing um against for me, I mean good coaches, I mean it can only make you better. And I yeah, think I said before, bringing back all that experience mm -hmm. to Magra, I think made a difference. Yeah, a lot of the support we got from the past students and the yeah. principal. Definitely, definitely. It was a big, big, big move and, and when Magra went to the second round, persons were saying that it, the joyride would have been over mm -hmm. um, early in the first round. But, I mean, top that group, move on to the, to the, to the other round. It was, just, it was just magical. Right. But I don't think a lot of people even know this. When you look at our stats, because persons would have been saying, uh, it's a one-man team and, 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 and it's the number 10 alone, which is McGregor and all of that. But if you look at our stats, we, we played um, 12 games, mm -hmm. scored 13 goals, and we conceded 11 goals. So we were operating less than a goal a match. Yeah, yeah. Before the semi final, this is in the Costa Cup now. Because, you know, we got blasted by, by JC in the stadium. All right. <laughs> but, 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 but as it relates to the Costa Cup, we. We um the semifinals we, we only conceded um eight goals and that was from eleven games. You know, so 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 team wise we did well and persons were saying that this is a fluke and, and this is you know but but finishing third in Dakasa Cup. No. When you finish third in Dakasa Cup irrespective of what people want to say. Yeah, man. You know, if you should do your checks and your researches, check how many non-traditional schools would have gone to the, the semi-finals of the Casa Cup in the last couple of years. Yeah. So, so I, like I said, you know, it doesn't matter how it's happening you now because even Jamaica College winning the Manning Cup, persons are still rubbishing it that it was luck. You understand? So, I mean... It, 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 people just have to respect the, the work that was put in and know no. that um, the, the, the goal was achieved. Might not be one of the, 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 the major goals, but I mean, it was. No, to me, if you ask me, one of my. One thing that, 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 that is embedded in my coaching philosophy is, is creating winners. And, and, and not necessarily a winning team, but creating yeah. winners within, yeah. a win, within, 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 within a team. 
um, getting to the semifinals. No, if we if should put this in context, look at Magra High getting to the semifinals, finishing third. And if you ask me, we are the winners of the Costa Cup, man. Of because, course. Because, <laughs> because you, 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 you are, when you look at resources and backroom staff that all the other schools mm -hmm. that were in the semifinals, you look at Clarendon College and check, check their history. Look at Dintil Technical. Dintil would have been one easily one of the most consistent schools. Yeah, for the, the past five probably. years. Five years they're about Clarendon, mm -hmm. of course. And then you have Cornwall College. And if you look at these schools, look at the magnitude of, of their past student association. Look mm -hmm. at the resources they have. I mean, it, it, is, it is second to none. So, so getting Magra High in a semifinals out of a quarterfinal group where you had states we, we got past Russies in the two way tie. Russies just won the Costa Cup in twenty seventeen. Mm -hmm. They are they, they, I think they are the winning school in the Costa Cup. You know, having won in it winning the title um eleven times. So it, it, it wasn't a lot of people say we make silly comments every time but, but I, I think they should really look at the team uh, uh, and, and, and give us some respect and give us some, some kudos because the guys really did well. The team did well. It is what it is. It is what it is. That one thing persons will always talk about, they can't take away what happened. Right. I mean, so so let, us, let us run through some of the comments before we mm -hmm. proceed. Hear what um, persons are saying. Yeah, man. Big up yourself to all the persons who are on. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I read that comment already. Um, so go explore. I said. Wait, <laughs> where man saying about? <laughs> All right, coach. I, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna allow you to read that one. <laughs> coach, I want to know who benefits from that deal. I mean, which club? Um. <laughs> and I know go, go explore you you definitely a good question but 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 I think what person should be focusing on or concentrating on is that a youngster who who never played the Premier League before uh -huh. and wasn't a part of any national youth team he was a part of the the all school team that went to Florida yeah that's the closest he went to being on a right. national yeah. Right, and then not playing senior football nationally, uh -huh. and then kicking down the door like this, and, and getting in a in a in a, cl a club in Europe. Oh, that that's that's massive, and I would want to concentrate more and more, more on that. For me, I don't business which club or that's 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 not my prerogative. I've had Magriga since he was twelve. Mentoring and, and coaching, and, and everybody knows that. So for me, whichever club gets that, none of my business. I think the player moving, the player will definitely be able to to help his mommy, help his family in some some day to come, and then help build a solid foundation for himself. I'm more concerned yeah. about that. Yeah, man, real so, talk. Plus, so some of those some of those questions are probably for the player's agent. You, you will understand. You will answer those questions. That yeah, man. And as you mentioned, the agent, big up to Kevin Cohen again. Yeah, man. Right. Big up to Kevin because um in in the space of a few days, two players would have gone out. Um, Kemal Malcolm and Peter McGregor. So big up to Kevin again. I remember Messi March too. Is three yeah, Messi March went away as well. Yeah, man. Right. So courtesy of Kevin. He's doing some good work undercover. Mm -hmm. I hear many persons are saying that youngsters should um, try and get um, linked up with, with Kevin because he's one of the super agents in Jamaica. I right, just want to add to that point, Coach. The, the, the fact is that if persons don't know, um, Peter was not aligned to a club. So he wasn't transferred from one club to Sweden. Just just putting that out there. I, I, I probably would, would not uh say that but what i would say is that as it relates to that aspect of 
business, I'm thinking that the agent would be the most suitable person to yeah. address that and fix that. He, that's his responsibility, not yeah. my responsibility. I am just elated so, that the player, the player have made a massive move like this. And I'm thinking that the entire Caribbean is looking on on something like this. I don't care about anything else. Right. So so which club gets benefit? Not, not my talk, target. Talk to Kevin. Talk to Kevin. Right. <laughs> all right. Nazrel, if all the coaches um take four to six players under their wing and develop these individuals, the market and market them, we would become a marketplace. That's a comment that um Thompson is making. It, it goes beyond beyond just taking and developing. And I, I do respect the comment. But, mm -hmm. but some, there's something called mentorship and mentoring. Um, I, I think that's one of the greatest things. In, in coaching goes beyond just 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 having a team talk and yeah man, tomorrow train again. But 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 how do these players eat? What do they eat? Yeah. Do they come to school often? You know, what? You know, where are they living? What kind of conditions? What are some of the things they are exposed to at home? You know, when these, play these players um, engage in a conversation, um, how are they responding? Not necessarily standard English responses, but are they looking all over the place and they're talking to you? Are they looking yeah. to the ground? You know, those are some simple little things. I mean, confidence. Right. So so it goes beyond just coaching and, and developing, but so it's a holistic development. development. Yes, 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 yes. Continuously. Being 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 a father, being a friend, being a yeah, big brother, yeah, yeah. being an uncle. The coach wears wears loads of hands. Yeah, yeah, man. Right, right. So so it comes down to that. It comes down seriously to that. All right. So Jeremiah said, um, "Winning should be prioritizing. Should not be prioritizing youth football development. Of the players should be at the forefront." And he's saying that he glad, he's happy that you saw that. Um, well, you're commenting on that. Yeah, man. Well, um, as I said before, my philosophy, one, you know, one, 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 so probably a very integral part to me. Uh, to, to my, what, as it relates to my philosophy, is as I said to you before, I want to create winners, and winners not for not for the moment, but for a lifetime. Yeah, man. I, I, and I take pride in doing that. So every single aspect of the athlete, I will make sure is that if there's a weak part. We try and get it strong. If, if, yeah. if this need, if this aspect needs a little bit more strength, we, we try and make it stronger. So, absolutely, so I, I take it serious when it comes down to mentorship and stuff like that. Yeah, man. Uh, Richard Summers, big up yourself. Devon Porter again said, um, "The reason why we can't use the schools to develop players for the national team is because the season is too short. Three months of football is not enough. The clubs have to be foremost." That's what Devon is saying. Um, you want to say something on that, Coach? Um, not necessarily. I was just going to say that our country is so small. Um, our resources are extremely limited. But yet still, we do every single sports you can think about. Uh -huh. and, and all you know, this little resource, all these little resources we have now, would have to be split evenly across. You have some schools in Jamaica that they take part in every single sport ISA has to offer. And as a result of that, it may affect probably one and two other areas. So two things. Either we're going to narrow in on three or two major sports as it relates to schools and try and channel the resources in, in, in one or two areas instead of probably spreading uh, spreading too thin and then teams are, are at least suffer because of that. You know, but it's going to take some time because we need the resources to do this and it's hard to do it all. Yeah, man. Um, Karika Paul, big up yourself. Um, Jeremiah again is saying um, 
if every Premier League team gave a chance to these youngsters after the Cup or Manning Cup, we would um, have a lot more players overseas and emphasize on development and gaining experience than winning. Good enough point. Yeah, man. Sorry. But there, are, there are pros and cons to, to mm -hmm. every point that is made. Mm -hmm. um, Serge876 said, Coach, out of 70 plus teams in a competition and for a so-called one-man team to finish third, a big achievement, that. Well, I wonder why I'm calling a team a one-man team. They, no, they, they, no, man, remember, you know, he, he's saying uh, for a so-called. So okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. One-man team. Yeah, it's true. It's yeah, true. yeah. Big up, big up for that comment because I've gotten like several negative comments as it relates to to us being a one man team and the number 10 this and the number 10 that and mm -hmm. you know but, but yeah we can't see that only we, we, are, we, are, we went through the entire season we had about six clean clean sheets you know we kept six clean sheets you know, or five you know so so it can't be one man who plays forward <laughs> in play forward and defense <laughs> right, <laughs> right. All right, so Andrew Allen, a big year up coach. Andrew yeah, Allen, the chef from Cumberland Road. Oh, oh, yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. I'm a general man. Yeah, man, big up yourself, yeah. Andrew. Um, yeah. Devon is saying that Ethan Laird is one for the future, but at this moment, he's not committed. So I think that is about another um, yeah. Yeah, footballer who. Mm -hmm. Is young and needs a bit more um, development um, to before he gets on board. So, 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 trust me, coach. I'm very elated to see. You, you notice me? I'm a blow away tonight, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We, have to, we, have to, we have to represent, man. You know, it wasn't planned, though. We just I realized, you know. Yeah. Yeah, man. Right? So, the achievement was significant and is significant. It's and great, it's great, it's great. You, it's you great. can't, cold water cannot be, 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 be shown on it, you know, but you, you are going to have the naysayers and yeah, man. persons are going to be speculating and getting into the wrong areas of, of yeah. the world. From me, as I said to you before, I am just interested in, in the boy going to Sweden and doing well, nothing else. Well, doing well, so nothing we, else. We're not thinking about a national call up. We're not thinking about how much money he's getting and all of them things. No, the, 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 no. the significant thing is that he's out of the country, and he's going to be playing football. Hey, look look at the magnitude, Kevin. Mm -hmm. Look at the magnitude of this move. Yeah. Football would not have been played in Jamaica for the last. How many months? Nine? About, no. Almost, almost a year? Yeah, March, 11 months, right? man. All right, no football would have been played. Almost a year. And, and we managed to still condition Peter and get him out of a pandemic world where almost every country in and around the world is suffering drastically from COVID. It big, and it we managed to navigate people. It big, it big, it big. You can't stay there. I, I just want to think about that. Nothing rem else. Remember, you know, the youth wasn't in a competitive state, you know. No, we, 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 we had to the club. It, so we were, we were waking up 5 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And, and training, and sometimes we, we doubled as well. Mm-hmm. You know, so we were, we were making sacrifices, so... I think a lot more attention needs to be pay, paid around that area. How Rather that than area? the intricacies. The move is huge. The of move is big. Is. <laughs> <laughs> the young yeah. so had his first training session session earlier today. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. So, so, so it, it, it's basically unprecedented, Coach, because yeah. it has never happened before. Never in the no. history of Jamaica. There Everybody else would have played um, um, national at, at some in some national team or the Premier League. Everybody else would have played. Yeah, man. Because when, when, when Bibi made his move, um, he was playing for Harbour View. 
We was playing the World Cup, Bridget. We played 98 France. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so, so bypass, team bypass, team. right, bypass that. You know, Leon, Leon went over, but Leon went. Leon never played schoolboy football. Leon went into into Europe as a as a, as a youngster. A, right, right. Yeah, so, back and forth. So yeah, man, yeah, man. It, so, it, so, unprecedented, man. This is massive, man. Really. Man this just done play um the Costa Cup third place winner, and a next. But, uh, probably a little bit over a year is out of the country now in Europe having his first training session. It, yeah, it's, exactly. it's, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. Yeah, and we're not talking one. about KFC. It's a big <laughs> deal. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm just just elated, humbled, humbled, and and yeah, uh, yeah. that's a key thing here. And once we, we can get our charges or at least to to keep the arrows at levels. At, at, at reasonable, reasonable, um, what you call it now? Reasonable stages, probably. It's good because you don't want them to get over too overly arosed. Um, and then anxiety chips in and then that affects performance. But we just want to keep him grounded. We want to keep the, his um, self-efficacy levels high because we want him to believe in his own abilities, you know, but not to get probably a little bit overly cocky, uh -huh. you know, but remain Humble. hungry just the same yeah. and continue to work hard. Because I said to you before, his ceiling is very, very high. Yeah, man. Very, very high. Yeah, <laughs> man. But, but, but before you answer what Devon said, you know, so sometimes you have to listen to your critics. Yeah, I'll have to listen to your critics, you know. As a coach, as a coach, I'm I'm I'm, I'm a very inclusive coach. You know, I was I was told this by Aral Thomas, um, about 2005 when we were, we were at Rivalier, 2004. You know, he said to me that you may, you may turn up at some of these pitches in Jamaica for training, and you know, most of our teams are in Garrison areas. Uh -huh. And he said to me that. Even if you have a madman come to you and say something to you about the team, give him a listen here, man. Yeah, man, you can't listen, man. Yeah, give him a listen. Yeah, man. Listen, man. That's why I was saying, me, me kind of uh, said to Devon, sometimes you have to listen to your critics because sometimes them say things that will help you, but them don't know. But you give right. them a listen here. Right. I don't have a problem listening, you know, because I'm always willing to. So to have conversations with, with uh -huh. even my biggest enemy or somebody who doesn't really like me. Let us talk. Why? Why you say this player shouldn't start? Let us have a conversation. Yeah, yeah. Give me reasons. Yeah, that is my approach to coaching. And, and this is why I operate with my with my players. Um I, I, I normally use the three leadership styles as best as possible. Uh -huh. For me, it is never it is never a big stick mentality for me every day. There are some days when you have to, yeah, to do that, draw man. the rope, right? But <laughs> some days I use some amount of democracy and yeah. get them involved in coaching decisions and, and, and we talk and, and, and I get their views. And not only the main players, but the ones that, who are outside of the squad. I get them involved in decision making. Tell me what you think. You think yeah. that's like that. You know, so, so in Jamaica, you see, you see Kevin, you see, we are so accustomed to 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 talking down to, to our charges and, and these the least the chance we get we beat down our charges instead of engaging them into conversations. Yeah Talk and to the, them. The, the thing about it I like the, the, the point that you make because I've learned that as a coach um, right. the democracy part it is it is it is important mm -hmm. that you listen to what the athletes are saying or your players or whoever they might be because some they are the ones who are training sometimes they see things they have, they have their own uh, mind you know and they will mm -hmm. see mm -hmm. things that you 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 possibly won't see as the coach sometimes you know uh, and, and it, it's always good to listen to them for them to share their views because out of their views then you you might you might get something that will assist the team going forward. 
and, and then also it is good to listen because guess what? You can improve team bonding and team chemistry, coach player relationship. But guess what? I I may know that I want to start you in a Kevian. But I want to get him involved in the decision making. What do you think about Kevian versus Jermaine? And they might say to me, coach, you know, say me feel say yeah. Jeremy or Kevian and and then going out on the field, they probably will be saying, you know, say I assisted in making a decision and uh, my decision. So we are going to fight together as a team. So there, there's some other psychological benefit to it as well. Uh -huh. Um at times, even at times I, I use the laser fear leadership style as well. Two players might be going at it as it really is a tactical decision. You should make the tackle. Next one saying, no, you should not or you should mark. I allow them to sort that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I listen. If it's getting out of control, then I intervene. But as long as they are confrontation as it relates to the coaching at times is good. As long as you can keep confrontation and, and, and as it relates to the tone and the language that is being used. Yes, but nothing yes. is wrong with two players. Two players or a couple of players blowing out some steam. Allow them to, to express themselves. And then yes. at the end, you know, at the end, you can intervene and, and um, yeah. kind of strike a balance of two things. Right, right. Yeah, man, it's always good to listen. I've learned that over the years. So um let's get back to some of the comments. Um mm. Jerry Myler said, I hope he adopt or adapt as quickly as possible and start creating a wonderful career over there. Right. Um, yeah, man. Um Devon um, threw in a little, <laughs> a little thing that um, sometimes luck work in football, in, in every sport. <laughs> and Shimel is asking what type of person he is. I think you mentioned that, that he's a hard worker. Uh, is there anything else you want to add? Yeah, he's a hard worker. Um, very easy going. Off the pitch, he, 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 he looks like a sheep off the pitch. But <laughs> On the pitch, is a lion. Yeah, man. He conforms. So yeah, man. He is he's cool, relaxed, humble, very reserved, and oh, stuff yeah. like that. Yes, but on the pitch, he transforms into a beast. He's literally a monster. Serious about him, ball game, man. Serious. Yes, man. Serious. He gives it all every single time he touches the pitch. He hates losing. He's losing. True, true. And, and, and he works very, very hard. Yeah, man. Staple, big up yourself. Um, crazy yard the TV. I said, me get my fox now. Me don't know where my tabo. He said, me get all uh, my fox wrong today. Me don't know where my tabo. Me ask him and him can say whatever. But yeah. big up yourself, crazy yard the TV. Who else, Staple? Big up yourself, man. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, man. Guess who the panel line, coach? Who? No, the Flair boss. <laughs> you serious? Yo, Flair was my captain at school, you know. We played cricket together, you know. See, Flair was, was my, Flair was my good, good cricket captain, you know. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, man, I'm a big cricketer, man. But me tell yeah. him, so I said to Flair that, Flair, we need to go by my grave and play some cricket. So I hope as after COVID, we can get some of the guys together who played in our team and go back to and go play some cricket. Because you know cricket is my first love, right? Yeah, man, we know that one. Yeah, Flair, big up yourself, big up yourself, big up yourself, Flair. I hope you're, I hope you're there inside enough, Flair. Oh, mm -hmm. I, I, after 10, no, you, you can't, then no else. <laughs> good, good cricket, cricket captain and the man who gave me a ball one day and I'm matching a bridging. Yeah, and man. Then, Flair, you hear that? Oh, if not, you, it, it left it. No, 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 no. No ball, man. Oh, yeah, go out with it. <laughs> Okay, I'm that one. <laughs> so yeah, man. Yeah, I tell you. So so yeah, man. It's a it's a good look. It's a good look. Yep. Flair, the only I'm crazy you are the TV. You need to tell me how old that you know, cause he's my big you up there. So, look like a somebody we know, like him I try um player on the thing, you know. <laughs> That's well again say that does prove my point that a small Polar players is a lot better to coach and use agents to get them in these clubs. Um, good point that. Um, Ishmael Aiken. Um, who do you compare Peter with? <laughs> that, well, that's I, a tough one, eh? 
I would rather compare Peter for no with himself. Yo, look here. <laughs> I, I would not want to, to, to respond to that. No. I would just allow Peter, Peter to Peter is Peter. Yeah, to develop and, and to and to really settle down. And then when when he starts bear, bearing some real fruits now, then I will allow the fans to look on. Yeah. And do the comparison. Yeah, yeah, man, I wouldn't want to compare him now. Because but but he, 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 he is packed with, with power and speed. Speed, yeah. Very, very well coordinated, balanced, excellent. He's really, really aware when it comes on to space around him. He makes good decisions under pressure. He kicks the ball off both legs like, like a rocket. Mm -hmm. You know, he uses his head well. He's very, very strong in the air. Jumps so, very well too. He jumps very high as well. Yeah. So and he packs. I think, and I've been saying this to him, loads of close kills. Trust me. Yeah, man. Yeah, so, man. Just follow him to, to, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. To to settle down, to settle down, and um, we will see in the future. Yeah, man. And you know, somebody asked that question today. Um, which 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 one of the the, the foot see foot he use? And yeah, I was saying yeah. that he used both legs, but predominantly yeah. is a is a is a right foot. But if they give him anywhere on him in the left or him right, he might crack it. And he probably kicks the ball better with his left foot. Trust me. He's a talent man, he's a gem. He's a gem. Trust me. Hey, the whole movement out in a coach. Look yeah. Man. The whole movement. Oh out. my word. You know who is this, right? <laughs> of course, <laughs> I will not say I will not say on this platform. You will not say it publicly. No, I will not. I will not say it publicly. Anyways, I, because I self care. I, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I should say congratulations. Yeah, I'm bigger up, man. I'm a good, good friend. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so. Jay Mala compare me to Alan. Wait, no man. Wait, no man. Wait, no man. A Peter McGregor, this man. A Peter he, McGregor, this. He hey. don't want to create any kind of scenarios for him or any comparisons. Just allow him to, to develop. He's in a very good place, mm. a very good club, you know, in which we develop young talent and then yes. support him. So let us see. Sky Next two limit. three years. Sky's yes, man. Yes. Hey, hey, Richard, I can tell us something, Richard. You see both of us here, coaches, coach, coach's desk and coach German, and Manchester United were up here. <laughs> so let me just make that plain and clear. So you see the Liverpool thing where I thought we're going to send Peter, it never <laughs> work. It cannot work. <laughs> We're, anyway, we are sending him at Trafford. Liverpool are big clubs still in there. Liverpool are big clubs still in there. Of course, a big club, but Manchester United, massive. Liverpool are big club. All right, so, so Yadi is saying, Coach, why do you think Peter, who is not popular like a Walker, Maggie, and Daly, made this switch from Jamaica straight to Europe? I know Maggie play in Europe, but not in our first team. Mm -hmm. Peter is, is a different athlete. Now, all the names you called, those boys are extremely talented boys. Mm -hmm. Extremely talented. Pack with close skills, excellent vision, you know, tactical awareness, I think, you know, probably maybe lacking one or two areas. Yeah, man, but those boys are, are serious. But Peter, as I said to you before, he's different. He is he's one of those strikers that you are going to look and say that. Where he come from? Where was this boy all along? He's yeah, yeah. With his power, he's strong. He's very, very explosive. And again, he uses both legs like there is, <laughs> there is not a preferred side. Not true, man. So, uh, so, you know, from Maggie and, and the rest of them, I'm not sure. I'm not sure as it relates to what is going on with them. But I can speak for Peter because I know I know him personally. Uh -huh. He is going to and will do very very well. Trust me. 
Yeah, man. There, there's no stopping this youth. I'm not, me not lie. No stopping. I remember the day the coach, they tell him, say, straight to the national, you know. He yeah, probably, man. I, he I, probably I, never I believed it. Walk that. Yeah, man. So, trust me, that youth uh, is, a, is a different type of ball, as you say. Different from a Maggie or walk kind of daily. Him just mm -hmm. different. So, you, you probably look at him and see him play ball. And all you can say that youth are different. You probably can't reach out and find a word to say, Why I'm really different. But trust me. <laughs> but but Jay Milo TV has him analyze him in game. Tell, tell huh? us how you analyze this game, um, Milo. Milo say him analyze Peter game and Peter Paul. Well, that's a good observation. Good observation. Coach run gone left my star. Yeah, Kerry, big up yourself, man. Richard, you can't get the ball out of Liverpool, man. Even though Liverpool are a big club, no. One big club in Mago State. Right now, him done a, um, that name. Him done a Swede. Yeah, man, he coached the ball, Kevin. Yeah, man, I'm here. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, Fleer, I said, Chelsea, Mago play for. Well, I could see, no. DS Electronics say uh, um, Manchester United will finish fifth. Well, let us see, you know, a few more games to go, you know. Um, what him say? Nazarel say, um, look, good agent with hard work. They will make it. Kevin. Some of the news based on what is going on with Jamaica's football. The young Kevin. players, yeah. Finish read the comment. Finish read the comment first. I'm proud. The, the young players in Jamaica better take note of that agent. Yeah, um, crazy. Yeah, the TV are promote um the agent, you know. Me see my do <laughs> promotion from, from yeah, over yeah. over a video I drop on the channel. Let me see him promote the agent. Um Jay Milo said he's class, trust me. Ishmael Akins as a Chelsea for real. Chris Smith, congrats coach. Chris Smith, or did that beat up the, 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 the national coach the other day? Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, where, yeah, where else the coach? Um, oh, 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 I, 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 I think it slipped me now. It slipped up? Yeah. I remember. Yeah, this day, the, the day has been probably... <laughs> Today was like, like, like something else, you know. Persons were just calling, 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 calling. Yeah, man. Mm, they were just calling, you know. So you go, man, when, when something great happens, you know. Everybody in a, in a DM or in a, in a ears. <laughs> but, but this will just, I think, encourage other young players to... to to work hard because because football is hard work definitely uh, and it takes loads of discipline and determination to get to, to to different levels or get to different places in football so it's not all about yo the ball about the ball a pile off two man face and sell a two man and and shift and, and broke and and no it's not all about that our, 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 our big ball as them come a training to them now for come tomorrow it's continuous work. It's all about hard work. There's no two ways about that. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's thumbs up to, to um, all the hard workers. But as I said before, this will encourage all the youngsters now in Jamaica. I think Come on. who really wants to to um get something out of football, mm -hmm. they'll be pushing themselves a little bit harder now. I can bet you that. But, but but coach, and we always tell our charges to you know there's no substitute for hard work, you know. No. Tell me where will you ever find a substitute for hard work? You cannot no. find that. No, no. no hard work, no. work alone, him no one a sub. Straight him up. Work, work, work. Yeah, 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 um it it's it's a it I, I hope that this will yeah, as I said, will be a a, a, a trend setting uh move. And the persons who are really interested in 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 moving from Jamaica will 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 start to do some hard work 
because trust me, hard work will be uh, will pay off. No matter mm -hmm. how you grow on it, one day you 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 you're gonna reap the fruits of your labor. So it it, it will set set the, the, the tone for persons who are interested in 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 leaving the island. It's not only about winning in terms of the the, the, the trophies, whether you win the D Cup, Manning Cup. But like you said earlier, it's creating a winning individual. So yep. nobody can tell Peter say he's not a winner. You understand? Because that is already embedded in him that he's a winner. So you can't no, but, change. But Kevin, even from Magra itself as a school, mm -hmm. finishing third in the Casa Cup and then getting Peter in the Europe. I would trade this for a Manning Cup and the Casa Cup title you know, any day you now. Yeah, man. The run. Not the run showing was... any cold water. Yeah, man, go ahead. Not showing, not showing any cold water and the champions, but finishing third and then getting one of your players into Europe on a professional contract. Yeah. That is better than winning the Premier League in Jamaica, if you ask me. <laughs> Yeah, so, man, a big, a big move, that man, a big, yes, big, man. big, that, that, a big win for you, big win. For, for me, for me, it's just staying humble and working hard, and, and I enjoy working behind the scenes. Nobody don't have to know I'm working. I don't want nobody to know. See, you'll not see me on a social media page showing anything. You there, Kevin? Kevin I'm gone, Mr. Porter. We're Kevin I'm gone. The more we, we get we get him back as soon as possible. I will go on this and then kick me out or then kick out the boss. <laughs> <laughs> right. Or then we kick out the boss. <laughs> Why this internet? My computer does freeze a while ago. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, man, as you say, man, uh, uh, that big man, f f f finish third, get a player out, uh, out in Europe right now. Yeah, man, well, that, that, is a, that is a trophy. Me that. Huh? Give a title and give me that. Next year, give me that. Yeah, man. Good. It sound like you're a punch, you know. <laughs> no, man, but, but, but you see, you see. But, but you're right, man, you're right, you're right. Right. Developing youngsters and, and getting them to this. That, that's a, probably the highest I level you can go in a virgin. Probably, probably the biggest club or the most expensive club in the world. Or the most, but but, but the, you, the, you are garden their club, I think, can host the Champions League final. Mm -hmm. I think it's 35 or 40,000 pieces. Yeah, man, about third. Uh, yeah, I think I'm uh, between thirty to forty thousand. Yeah, right. You know, it's massive. Yeah, man. You know, you know, massive structure, massive clubs, club. And so, they, I think, um, if if I think you you are the one who said that they they won the league in in twenty nineteen. Twenty nineteen, right? Yeah. Fourth. Twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. Yeah. Mm hmm. So, it's not a it's not a really. It's not a, a real whether some people that say a, a bush league club or a small club. No. A big club, man. Once we can get our players in Europe, once we can get them in Europe, the standard there is different when it comes on to preparation, comes on to football, comes on to nutrition, comes on to fitness, science of sports, it's different. Yeah, yeah. Totally different. <laughs> Yes, flair boss, I say. But on a one year, you know, some people them them not, them forgot that uh, twenty seventeen the, the thing start. Yeah, I started twenty seventeen. Yeah, because twenty seventeen we finished second to last in the group. Yeah, man. Um, twenty eighteen we finished third, and twenty nineteen we topped the group. <laughs> so, you know, anybody probably had. A good football mind would have known that after the first two years, second, third year is going to be trouble. Yeah, but big up Miss Henry, because Lane was saying something about Miss Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, um, 
this guy he was saying that you you took one year which 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 is incorrect some coaches in the past um take 25 years to do so and mr henry was a good coach still rest in peace yeah but you see you see you still want the coaches them credit because yeah. sometimes they don't the many variables yeah the odds are against some of the coaches yeah, man, yeah, man. It's tough coaching in some of these schools because the support is really really limited yeah man you know so i would not want to take up no stripe of no coach and put on yeah. my shoulder yeah. big up to all the coaches you know love and wally for respect you know Piggy, late need to come and let us play some cricket up school. <laughs> and if I arrange that, he goes school captain. He can't go around and arrange a cricket game. <laughs> yeah, big up yourself, Sando. And say we're hard as and and and, and smart. Here, yeah, well, Kerry, can have a big question for you, no coach. No, you know, I'm afraid of Kerry question. Then I'm afraid uh, of Kerry. I'll put it up, make her read it. <laughs> yeah, I'm good <laughs> question, man. I'm good question. The young ones looking on and how do you inspire them yeah, man, a think, powerful question yeah i think kerry the news itself is big enough to inspire them but but if you if you ask me how, how would i inspire them is is um definitely show them the, the 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 pros and cons as it relates to working hard you know if you are not serious about hard work you're not you will not get results uh, and, and seeing where Peter Peter reach, I mean, just by looking, being in the same school with him, training on the same pitch, and then look at him transitioning now, I think that should serve as a, as a solid motivation for them. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. So, so I'll continue to, 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 to show, continue to talk, you know, continue to, to be stern in areas where I need to be stern in, continue to, to use small things, um to, to motivate them as it relates to probably tangible stuff you know and, and and creating that kind of environment that that will generate high performance because that that's key as a coach you know as it relates to creating an environment where these kids can be motivated to perform and bring and perform at their optimum best so i'll yeah. continue to do stuff like that yeah man um and just to add to that um coach one of the things that um, is important is not only doing the work that you are given. Because yeah. um, you have to go above and beyond. So if, 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 if you finish your workout that you got, your program, you can still, when you go home, you do some pull-ups, you do some push-ups. Right, 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 right. And everything add up. Because one thing I heard Junior Fleming said um, in an interview that he did on, on online, he said that that is important. Because sometimes they do some work. Man say him, him, him say four cones put out, and him see other players them are add to the the, the, the the cones that are put out by the mm. coach because they mm. want to do extra work. And right. It's yeah, right. always important. That's why I name extra. Yeah, and you see what is also important for these players, and as going back to Kerry K's question, is creating a balance and letting them know that hey. There is no one way to life. You know, so once the balance can be created, so school school is important. Yes, it is. Because it helps you with your interviews after games. It helps you to, to go through your contract and, and read and to comprehend and all of that. It, it helps yeah. you to socialize and, and be comfy around people who probably you don't even like. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to be around so, yes. so it, it teaches a lot, you know. So it's just creating that balance. And I think at Magra, if we can, we, we, we should, and I'm going to make sure that we capitalize on this. Yes. In building, building a sound program and creating a lasting football culture. You know, those yes. are some of the areas that I'm looking in, you know. It's not just to, to let's say, you want to win the Costa Cup. But you want to have a solid under 14 teams and under 16 teams, and you want to have your youngsters transitioning from one team into the next. Yeah. So the under 14 the style teams, of play they would understand from one right, team. Right. The same next. way that like the under 16 team, under 16 team plays the same way like the Dakar Cup team, and 
once you can get it like this and people understand and then we're getting more people more, some of our boys going off on scholarships some some a couple more getting contracts here here and there the sky's the limit mm -hmm. richard say you no know, um coach if you call peter lee vassal and give him peter <laughs> <laughs> he then <a> phone number. <laughs> Peter Lee Vassal is, is a very talented young sign up. Yeah, we are tell a legend. Very yeah, talented. You see, and I'm, I'm not necessarily talking about Peter, Peter Lee Vassal or any other young player. But one of the most important thing in creating a player like a Peter McGregor is is oftentimes in Jamaica, one of our culture is you're the star baller, yo. Uh, if you work and get the ball, get the star, the ball, star. You can't make the man a come back and a tackle and the man a work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in Europe, football, I work, I, I've taken my own eyes and see Wayne Rooney defending a corner or running back to defend. In his yeah, man. Now, and then launch and then an attack. Sprinting upfield <laughs> and scoring. And, yeah, and, it, and if you are getting paid so so much money and you are doing that. You are getting dirty inside mid pit from forward and getting work done. Why do we create so many players locally who are afraid to get dirty? Who are afraid to run back and, and, and press center off one and press center off two. And if yeah. needs be, and the number six, um, the, the, the only midfielder gets the ball and he's close, why not press him too? And you see, you see, you see, one of the things to coach if, if we're going to prepare footballers for Europe, North America, I think along the way, things like um, the, 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 the mental preparation or mm -hmm. the operate in, in, in those professional environments, clinics and, and workshops should also be done on those stuff, you know. Because sometimes a lot of these players go over and they get culture shock. And they, they weren't mentally no, ready. No, and sometimes no. the, the game does show off and people probably think that they're not good again or whatever. But No, but for me, why would you want to have a youngster on the field and then asking somebody else to come out at their zone or their, their position to tackle for that person? Mm. No, it can't work, can't work, you know, you know. Can't work and you can't go nowhere to play any football like that. Can't. And that yeah. is why we are with Peter a lot give Peter loads of credit. Yeah, man. I, I think what we, what we should do in the future is is get somebody like Kerry K to to do some Zoom sessions with our footballers. Mm -hmm. I think we we'll do well with that. Get her to manage the team from wherever in the world she is. <laughs> Just some management work with the team, <laughs> some motivational stuff with the team. I think she'll do very, very well. Yeah, man, with the radio voice. Is that Kerry if you're still watching? <laughs> hey, Kel Kelvin asked what happened to Roddy of Murray. A long time, you know, the last time I said that, but hold on, maybe there's somewhere we said that ball at it. Yeah, man, he, he's playing at Dumble Holding. He's playing Dumble, Dumble Holding. Okay, okay, good. He's playing, he's playing there. Um, DS Electronics say me me a fling COVID vaccine. Well, the, the ball I say him him take the vaccine and him all right. You know that's Kevin. Um, Lambert. Isaac, or, yeah, not Isaac. So Lambert. Lambert. Kevin Fritter. Oh. Yeah, man. Him say him take him vaccine and him all right. So him a encourage you to do it. So I not really me. Um, DS Electronics. It's 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 a baller. So he might, he might one of the first um Jamaican footballer would have who would have taken that vaccine. I've yeah. known a lot of persons who would have taken it as well. But I mean I don't know. Um crazy yard TV. Man, we are bonfire upon coaches desk. Make up yourself, see you there. <laughs> you must say, yo, the club is a big club for real, yeah man. Um, Jeremiah is saying need a couple of young defenders to make transition as well. Not many defenders are making the move. What is the reason for that, coach? Um, most time these clubs look look out for attacking players, right, coach? Yeah, they look for attacking. Yeah. No, if you are getting players from Africa and, and um, Jamaica and some other parts in the world, yeah, you, you are looking for raw speed. You are looking for 
because black players are, are normally very, very explosive. And yeah. As a result of that, these club goes for um, those explosive players. But if we can look in the market and say, all right, this part of the world would, 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 would give our defenders contract, then we could develop def develop our defenders because we need them for the, for the national different different national teams at different levels. So so I think we can pay special attention to that. We have taxi out there now. We have fish out there. We have Alvas out there. who are all locally bred players. Mm -hmm. But I am thinking that after remember we had Rudy, we had um Rudy, Rudy Dixon, we had um Taxi Brown. Pepe Goodison and Stupies and Claude came after Chris Dawes and, and and the lights, you know, and the works, you know. But but I've not really seen a lot coming through. However, though this year when we went to the the our school competition in Florida, we I saw about five or four solid youngsters whom I think if, if they are trained and and groomed properly, they can transition. In the center back are the sweep of our stats. Mm -hmm. Um there's a there's a center of a stats, center is very technical as well. I think his last name is King. There's a Clarendon College number five. I don't remember his name. And there's a young child that attended JC by the name of Nikashe Mori. Mm -hmm. I, I, I do like the stats captain as well. You know, those are some solid youngsters who, who I think if they are put into good programs can be developed in, 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 in some good defenders for the very, very near future. Yeah, man. Somebody is asking, the, the chef is asking if you have any more secret talent working, <laughs> working on. You know, a lot of persons have been asking me this and I know that I know that I'm going to be to be, uh, I'll be coming out of some pressure as it relates to this, and persons are going to, 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 to be, you know, lending some more eyes around that side. But I've managed to keep Peter under the radar for, for the last couple of years until 2019. And in Jamaica, you have to be careful with your talent here yeah, because you lose them. Yeah, man. Because and when <laughs> when the scouts are out, parents are, are being promised. Flat screen TV. Washing machine. Washing machine. <laughs> and our parents are, are in Jamaica as some, as some very poor parents. And they, they will go with the wind. So you have to be careful. As it really look here, this is how serious it gets sometimes. You can't just get up and play in the body in practice games. Huh? Because you, you play some schools and then the next day, three or four, you have to Yes, man. <laughs> You know, so so I'm always, as it relates to players, I will always be, be on the down low with them, and I'll be very very careful how I expose my young players. So you very hear that, Chef? Now nah, give out the information. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Patrick Riley is saying that it is important. Um, the vaccine is very important, and you should get it when it's available. And he said he took his and he's okay. So. Those who are anti vaccine, listen to Patrick Riley. Yeah, coach. So, yeah, man. Um, anything else you have to say? Because our time, I know. What was you know? Yeah, man. It's a long day. Kerry K. Gone. She gone it. Apparently, you know, I'm not saying she has to not again. Oh, she gone. Yeah, man. Big up all the females who came on tonight. We have quite a few of them, right? Yeah, man. As, uh, well, yeah, sometimes some are on and on. They don't really comment. They just watch. Mm -hmm. Because everybody that is commenting is not... They are not um, the only ones watching. So what, I'm what just I, speaking up. What I would love, Kevian, is mm -hmm. if all of our past students, all of our past students can can come out and support our school, that is Magra. I, I'd love them. To really come out and, and support. And if, if if persons are not even past students, but would love to be a part of, of the the program in terms of support, no yeah. problem. You can, you can reach out to coaches this, you know, he will get to me and, and um whatever the support maybe. Because 
it takes resources, it takes it takes a lot to run a football program. A, a whole lot. You know, to I remember getting to the semifinals of the Dakasa Cup. We were like two weeks going into the in the semi final. I I was literally drained mentally and physically. Mm-hmm. You know, so it, it takes a lot. Yeah. So, so I just use this platform to to, to um try and generate some support. You know. We we you may never know. We could probably have three or four more Peter Magakas around there. Then they never know. <laughs> right. And, and I'm sure I would want to be a part of, 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 of the tour. So whatever support, I mean, come on board. Help us. We need it. Yeah, and, and persons might be wondering what is happening. Those who would have been supporting, this is it. That's it. this is the big result. Yeah, that's the, you know, some persons might be skeptical. But right. This is the big result, Peter McGregor. So the finances weren't used otherwise. Um, and what well, I'm also trying to do, because we have a, we have a couple more youngsters who I think can move in, in other directions as it relates to probably scholarships or stuff like that. So mm-hmm. I am I am looking into into that avenue as well. So anybody listening, you know, have any connects, we can probably move one and two of the players, you know, into schools abroad. You know, we really appreciate that as well. Granny. I've got cut, you know. Some, some, some news there now, so. Yeah? Pleasant right now. All right. All right, no problem. Yeah, man. People, thanks for thanks for tuning no in. Problem. Yeah, man. We get uh, some news right now on my phone. I have to sort out something right now. So, thanks again for tuning in to the coach's desk. Thanks for your support. Um, Big up to Peter McGregor. Big up to Coach Thomas. Big up to all the 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 the, the Margaret, um persons, past students who assisted. Coach, I want to call some name before we go. I don't want to call because it's a lot. It's a lot, and everybody contributed in their own way, right? So I will just say generally, big up all the past students. You know yourselves. You know you know yourselves. I will not call name as it relates to this. You know, but big up everybody and really appreciate the support. And looking forward for your continued support. Somebody, I say, if you can't get ready of under your wing. Um, <laughs> mentorship starts from early, you know. From me, it starts from early, and um, if he's willing, fine. But he's playing at a Premier League level. He's playing for Dumbo Wooling, and, and I'm thinking that they have a good setup. So let me hope that he can really come through that. But I'm really concentrating now on, on 12, 13, 14, and 15 year old. That's what I'm really concentrating on. That that level. I want to bring those guys through. Yeah, man, people. I got to go. I got to go, people. Yeah, man. Kevin, big up yourself here. Yeah? yeah, man. Big up yourself. Thanks for tuning in. Everybody, bless up yourself. Coaches, this is out. All right. See you next time.